Doing week seven in the NFL here at SBR Forum Videos, I'm Peter Loshak. We're talking right now with Scott Kellen from SixthSenseSports.com. And one of the games Scott Kellen uh, requested this week is the Denver game. Denver at Indianapolis. A little bit surprised that he uh, chose to, that game as uh, one of the two games that he specifically wanted to talk about. But uh, we will find out why that is in a minute. Scott, thanks for being back with us this week. Hey, not a problem. Thanks for having me, Peter. All Good right. to be here. Denver, Indianapolis. I am dying to hear which side uh, you like here. Before we uh, find out, uh, give a little plug for SixthSenseSports.com. Yeah, thanks. Uh, SixthSenseSports.com. We're an NFL-only uh, handicapping service. I've uh, been doing this for 11 years now, nine out of 11 winning years, uh, and we're very transparent. You can see our records out on our website, uh, as well as uh, seeing what games we've selected 30 minutes after the games kick off. Uh, if you've got any questions, shoot us an email. We'll get back to you uh, ASAP. Uh, and we've got different packages, four-week packages, uh, the rest of the season packages. Uh, so hopefully something out there that works for you. Uh, and you can also sign up for free football winners on the website, and, uh, and we'll shoot your free uh, football winners on a weekly basis as well. Sounds great, Scott. Denver is a six-and-a-half-point road favorite at Indianapolis. Totals 55-and-a-half, 56, or 56-and-a-half. Maybe you'll go with the total here. I don't know. But um, if you're going with the side, it seems to me it just comes down to, uh, you know, basically one factor. Is Denver awesome and unstoppable? Then if they are, if the answer to that is yes, you take Denver minus six and a half and you love it. If uh, Denver is uh, awesome but maybe not unstoppable, then I guess Indianapolis plus six and a half is the play. Why'd you pick this game, Scott? Uh, I like Indy. Uh, mm. And, you know, I, and unfortunately, I was at the game in San Diego this last, last week, the, the Snooze Fest. It was probably the worst game I've ever been and actually left early in that game. But, uh, uh, in, you know, Indy was in a bad spot uh, last Monday night in San Diego. Uh, but I think they're in a pretty good spot here. And first of all, just from a value standpoint, my numbers actually favor Indy by one point in this game. So, uh, and I've got Indy rated very, very highly this year. And we know they went into San Francisco, played a very good game there, and beat up on the 49ers. Maybe took advantage of the 49ers when they weren't playing real well. They beat Seattle at home two weeks ago. Uh, we're actually outgained in that game, and, and maybe got a little bit lucky, you know, with a block punt return for a touchdown and whatnot. Uh, but nonetheless, they did, they did beat the Seahawks 34-28, scored seven, 27 points on a uh, pretty good 49ers defense. Uh, and they qualify in, in probably one of my best, if not best, rushing situations that I have. Um, so, number one, they qualify in, in a great situation. Denver actually qualifies in a, a bad situation, high-scoring teams going on the road. Well, that situation, although it's worked well over the years, uh, sometimes you get a team who's, who's doing so well, uh, you know, it, it, that team's playing so well that they'll overcome that situation. But the good rushing situation that Indianapolis qualifies in, getting a bunch of points at home, value, I like it all from that perspective. Uh, but also, I'm just not sold on Denver's defense here. I know they're going to get Von Miller back, and, you know, that, that's obviously going to help some. Uh, but Denver, obviously, they, they lost their right tackle last week, Orlando Franklin. They've already lost their left tackle early in the year. I, you know, the, the center... Um, had, had some problems last week just snapping the ball with Peyton Manning. So I'm not sure where that whole offensive line is. But the Denver defense is, is showing some cracks here. I mean, mm -hmm. you know, they gave up, what it was, it's 48 points at Dallas. They gave up 23 at the Giants earlier this year, and the Giants had a bunch of turnovers in that game. I don't think you're going to see the same turnovers from, from Indianapolis. Uh, and then gave up 19 points to Jacksonville last week. And, and Jacksonville, now, they've got Justin Block in the back here the last couple of weeks, and they're, they're starting to show that they may even actually have an offense. But... Um, they're giving up a lot of points to a lot of people, and some of that is obviously because you know they're, they're so far ahead that you know maybe they're just giving up yards and points. But they're giving up 6.1 yards of play to a collection of teams that average 5.4. They're allowing 7.6 yards of pass. I think Indy can can take advantage of them uh, at home by being able to run the ball a little bit uh, and obviously throw the ball. Indy's got some big playmakers uh, at the at the tight end and receiving position. And Andrew Luck obviously is a winner. You're getting a whole bunch of points at home. Indy can score points. Other than last week, they've scored at least 20 points in every game. And obviously, Indy could score 30 points here and maybe not cover this game because of uh, what Denver's offense can do. But right. I just think, you know, based on my situations that I know work uh, and there's some value in this game, um, I think Indy's a play in this game. I would lean towards the over. I, my, my numbers show 58 points. Mm -hmm. I'm not real excited to get into uh, involved in a, in a high-scoring over game with Indianapolis because they, they can be a very balanced office and, and run the ball some. 
and maybe keep that score down. But uh, I would lean towards the over, but I think the stronger play here is uh, much stronger on Indianapolis aside getting points. All right, well, this is obviously going to be a huge uh, anti-public play. And what would the public say for, for why they love Denver? They're going to say because Denver is completely awesome and absolutely unstoppable. But you would uh, say that that's not true. Uh, yeah, that, that's not true. <laughs> um, and like I said, I mean, De- yeah, we, we might find out here that Denver's peaked a little early in the season. Mm-hmm. I mean, I think, you know, we, we kind of saw that with the Patriots back in 2007. They, they peaked a little early. Denver's maybe peaked a little early. And, yeah, the public's going to ride them, obviously. And, and they'll probably ride them even more, knowing it, as it stands right now, they can lay less than a touchdown uh, with Denver. But, uh, you know, I mean, Denver almost lost that game to Dallas. Um, you know, so they, they can be beat, especially on the road. And if that defense doesn't play better, um, you know, and I know Champ Bailey came back last week, but I, I think Denver's defense is going to allow Indy to hang around in this game. All right. Well, SBR Lou uh, started a thread on the forum saying he's coming out of handicapping retirement, saying that he uh, loves Denver in this one. Uh, does that terrify you at all, Scott Kellen? Uh, it doesn't terrify me. Does he say why he loved Denver in this game? No, I, I, I didn't read the thread. It's just sort of, you know, his, his, his name and the fact <laughs> that he, you know, put it up. Yeah, I don't know. Look, you are a professional handicapper. A, a, you know, a lot of people consider you to be sharp. Is SBR Lou considered to be a, a sharp handicapper? I, you know, that might be a bit of a strong term. Some people would consider that to be a bit strong. But, uh, yeah, a lot. suffice to say, a lot of people are going to be on Denver this week. A lot of uh, public bettors. And how many sharps will come back on the other side? Uh, Oh, on Indianapolis, I'm not exactly sure, but uh, one for sure is going to be Scott Kellen from SixthSenseSports.com, like in Indianapolis, plus six and a half to cover against Denver. Thanks so much, Scott. Talk to you again next week.